Payton, uh, not welcome back at Hustler Casino, at least for the time being. What are your thoughts on that? Well, here's the deal, right? So Garrett accused Robbie of cheating, okay? He's very public. He took money from her when she gave it to him, et cetera, et cetera. Several months have gone by. She's won awards at the Poker Awards show. She's been pretty much accepted in the book community. And Garrett has failed to do one thing. Show us any proof, right? So for him to continue to stand where he is, which is I'm not giving the money back. I'm convinced that she cheated, but I also don't have proof. Um, feels problematic. And if, you know, if you're Hustler Live, you, you could. I, here's the thing. He's, not, I, he's allowed to play. Like if he wanted to play and they want, because their number one focus is eyeballs, right? So having him back on with Robbie or who knows what, you know, that would certainly, you know, be good for the stream. So I don't, I don't think he's banned, if you will. Do you, what, what do you think this means as far as Garrett Adelstein's reputation? I mean, obviously many in the poker world consider him one of the better cash game players in the world. I would imagine you, you would agree with that, but what, what does this do for his legacy moving forward? Are people just going to get over this, or do they take the approach of, you know, dude, you shouldn't have accused her of something with no evidence to back it up? It just makes you look really bad. Well, I, it's not, it's tarnished because it's not it's tarnished not only because of like the accusation originally, but I think the months and months later of continuing to double and triple and quadruple down, like he sort of tweeted at one point something about like no more Mister Nice Guy, Mister PC. I'm going to be like you know who I heal or whatever he wants to choose to be, like it's a wrestling analogy or whatnot. But uh, I mean, a lot of his success came from playing in games with non-professionals, right? So he's a smart professional. He doesn't want to play with other pros. He's not interested in any of that. He wants to play in weak games and soft games. So in order to do that, the streams are probably his number one, you know, source of that. So I would, I think he's going to find his way in back in the games. People who support him will continue to support him. And people who think he handled it poorly will continue to. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you on that. Moving forward, what do you make of this three-way bitter battle? I guess that's what some people in the poker world are calling it. Uh, when it comes to Doug Polk and Nick Airball and now Matt.